But today I wanted to say the story about why I was wrong about Dominican. And maybe this also can help some students that are as intimidated as I was with the college search and decision process. Because I knew for me, um, all I knew really was that I wanted to go into nursing and I wanted to stay at home, living at home when I was in college. Um, and so I decided to apply to some colleges, but I didn't know what I was looking for, what to focus on, maybe where I could see myself, you know. So it was towards the end of April and I decided to meet with one of my high school teachers who also played like a counselor role for us. And he told me to focus on Dominican. And I was like, Dominican, you know, I've received their brochures. They've sent me like a pennant or free flags before. And I've thrown them away because I really just didn't think I was going to come here. I couldn't see myself here. And I started to get intimidated by every single college that I applied to because I thought they were too expensive. I thought I couldn't see myself there in the student bodies. And and I'm glad that I was wrong. I, I took his word and I was like, okay, maybe I should look more into this school. And it was past decision day already when I finally decided to t come and visit my co my counselor here at Dominican. And he decided to tell me a bit more, you know, about the nursing program, about the student body, about what the school offered. And, and it did interest me. So that same day, I decided to commit without ever taking a tour, without ever conversing with the students. So don't do what I did. I highly recommend that you research the schools that you're interested in, that you visit them, and that you can truly see yourself there at that school. But for me, I took a chance on Dominican, truly. And it wasn't until the summer, almost going into my first semester as a freshman, that I finally got to have a conversation with a Dominican student. And it was during our orientation. And he lived in the same neighborhood that I did. He also went to a CPS high school. And he had a background similar to mine. And, you know, I started to ask him about the school. How did he like it? You know, what, did he, what was he involved in? And the way that he talked about the school just completely convinced me that this was a place for me. It's, it was a minority driven school. It is a minority driven school. It's very involved in various aspects. And, and I saw like, it was true. Everything that people said, you know, that it was an intimate um, classroom space that you can get the connections that you really wanted that I didn't even know that I valued until I came here, you know? And, and I'm glad that, that he made me fall more in love with the school. That same orientation program, we heard about this phrase that our, our founder, Father Samuel Mazzucchelli says, that or said <laughs> that said make school as much like home as possible and when i heard this it made so much sense to me because that's what i wanted i wanted a school where if i went every single day i didn't want to be intimidated i wanted to go to a school where i it could be myself you know where i could attend class and get the help that i needed and and be known and 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 have that connection that i really valued that i didn't know i valued truly um and so i'm glad that i took that chance you know i'm glad that that every day that I come here, I'm happy to be here. You know, I, I have these jobs and admissions, um, not because I want to be knowledgeable about the school, but because I truly love this school. And every day that I go on tour, I I try to promote this. You know, I try to emphasize this. And and honestly, one of my favorite parts of the tour is the front gates of our school because they look like the gates. If you see the movie Monsters University, it's one of my favorites. It looks just like those front gates. And we always keep our front gates open as like our creed, as a symbolism that that we accept any student, regardless of your background, where you come from, what race you are, what's your socioeconomic status, that we accept all students. And this touched me a lot, you know, that this is a private institution, that it's a Catholic institution, that, but it still has so much respect and dignity for its students. So I've fallen in love with this school in so many ways, between the classes I take to the jobs that I have, and I've learned more about myself in the process. I learned that I, I love helping students and I want to help students that that maybe have a struggle similar to mine. So if you do, you know, have questions about college or you don't know where to start, highly recommend that you start here. Truly take a chance. Make sure that you visit the school, that you can see yourself being here and being yourself at this school. So again, my name is Sydney. I would love to help any students that have that struggle, that have that question in them of, of where to even begin. That I hope you find yourself here. Come and visit and see it for yourself. We have a lot of deer on campus all the time because we're right by the woods. So it's a great way to pick up your day after a long day of studying. I hope to see you soon.